Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Now, interesting times ahead. For now, we are an independent kingdom right here in the center of Europe with the King of Asturias that we are. Um, the name, quite fitting, comes from the Iberian Peninsula. But for now, we are a king here. It doesn't mean that we are, will always be a king, but for now we are. Um, and we do have a problem right now because I cannot advance anymore, neither to the east, uh, west, nor to the um, east. So, you know, there's no independent county around us anymore. We only have the Kingdom of Bavaria. And she's not that strong. She's actually inferior. If I would call in all my allies, I could win a county here or there. But it would be a very expensive war. Especially when it comes to prestige costs. On the other hand, we would have the Empire of Francia, which is even stronger. And in that case, um, inferior, yes. But once again, I would have to call in a lot of allies. Plus, um, my p most powerful ally is Steiermark. And or Styria, and Styria is in Bavaria, so I, uh, I would not be able to call them to help if I, for example, declare war on Bavaria. So, a problem, but it's not an unsolvable problem. What I found out is that, well, in the Kingdom of Bavaria, there is a an inheritance problem right now. So, Queen Ulrike of Bavaria, well, the heir is actually another house. So, this is Duke Jeko II of Spoleto, and he is actually a vassal in the Empire of Francia. So I'm not entirely sure how the inheritance here works now. If she dies, will Bavaria then belong to Francia again? My bet is that it will, you know? So in that case, I think this guy here, he is part of Francia. He will then be the new king of Bavaria, but since Francia is an empire, um, he will stay within the Empire of Francia and just get Bavaria, the kingdom of Bavaria into Francia. I think this is how it works. I could be mistaken on this point, but I think it could work. So in order to achieve that, to, well, first of all, unite the whole of Europe once again, and also to be able then to advance um, east and west if I want to, um, I want to have everything under one empire. So if I'm in the empire of, well, of Francia and Bavaria is in the empire of Francia, then I could still continue claiming counties because we will still be within one realm. And that is my current goal. As I said, this is very high politics. I could be wrong about this, but I think I might be right. So what I'm doing right now is Queen Ulrike. Well, we're going to murder her. Or at least we're going to try and murder her. It's a very risky business, this whole murdering of queens. But in that case, we can try it. And on the other hand, what I'm doing is, well, I'm going to swear fealty to um, Frankia. This is something I wanted to do anyway, because this way we could... Um, still continue getting more realms or more counties, you know, at the moment we cannot and we cannot vassalize ourselves in another kingdom. So in that case, since we are a king, so I need to get under um, Frank here and, well, I do like it anyway. So here we are. And there we are. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful vassalship. Now with that, we also have another advantage once again. We can also be in the, in the emperor or the emperor's council. The leeches council if we want to so if we are good enough at something gives us another bonus then um as we see we just lose a bit of money there because we have to pay some taxes there but it's really just a bit so it doesn't really hurt us and as we can see we're now part of francia and there it is we get another oh well we do get a council position offer um for the marshal though i don't know why because i'm pretty good at intrigue but it's stewardship as well and Marshall is pretty much the worst thing that I am, but let's accept it and let's just see what bonus that is. I've never been a Marshall in the council, so we do gain some prowess here. Army maintenance minus 20%. This is pretty good. Levy size plus 20%. This is even better. And we also get a bit of lifestyle experience for the Marshall skill tree, but well, I don't need that. But still, the army maintenance comes in handy. Now, let's see. As we can see, we can now see the structure of Francia once again. And we do have the Kingdom of Burgundy here beside us. Right, so there we have Queen Anne of Burgundy. She, all our her heirs are dead. That's incredible. That's pretty much incredible. Um, who's the heir now? Oh, this guy here is the heir to the Kingdom of Burgundy. Um, could we... No, I don't have any daughters. Yeah, nope. I've got so many sons and they all look quite similar. Um, I cannot marry my daughter to him. So that's a pity there. This would have been a chance of getting the Kingdom of Burgundy with inheritance. But other than that, what we could do is we could declare war on her and seize the sure county of Zurich. Right? So finally, that we would have the ability to get Sundska or Zurich back. We have to sure claim on these. Um, she is inferior, right? 
Her allies, not very strong. My allies, extremely strong. Um, I cannot declare this war without using a hook on my leech. Oh, alright, we do have some... Yeah, we are level 3 crown authority. That means that under the feudal government law, um, vassals cannot wage war against each other. This is pretty much incredible. Huh. Alright, this is not how I imagine things in this case here. Can we modify something? Um, we might have to create a hook against him to force him to, for example, lower the crown authority. Yeah, vassals cannot wage war against other vassals and never, unless they use a hook on their leech. Alright, so we do need to have a hook. Um, he is here in Paris. Well, that's not a surprise. Um, we have a murder scheme at the moment going on, so I will need to use my spy master on that. But after that, we might use a hook on the, or we might find a hook on the emperor here, which is very important. Right, that is something. So this is a bit interesting, and lucky for us, we have high intrigue, so we might actually be able to find something there. This is important. Alright, what else is going on right now? We can declare war on a lot of counties, as we can see, even against England. And, oh, my leech has passed a new law, the partition. Doesn't affect us, really. And Count Jacob created the cadet branch Stazone Ohm. Alright. Hmm, we do have quite a lot of things here. We could also go against, of course, Bavaria. Other than that, we do have the active... Um, yeah, we do have an active election right now. Other than that, nothing really is going on at the moment. I would be lying if I said it was not a little pleasing to see the way Prince Bishop Berenger squirmed when I let him know what I knew. Alright. Taking me aside in private, my friend wants to know what he can do about it. A little gold goes a long way. He pays me 50 gold or we gain dread. There is nothing to be done. No, let's actually go with the gold. And we also get a new lifestyle point. Um, Seduction scheme success chance against own coaches and guests. This is pretty weak. This is all pretty weak here in this intrigue skill tree. Um, dread gain per tyranny. Fear tax, intimated, intimated vassals tax contribution. Yeah, I'm not getting really warm with this skill tree here. Lovers are less likely to join murder schemes against you. This is very tempting. <laughs> Let's go with seduction scheme at the moment to advance the next tree. I really just want to go for the bonus there. Right, murder scheme. Let's have a look at that. Um, it's at 46%. Not really high. We need to invite someone into the whole thing. She's got 28% chance in addition costs me 250 gold though. Um, that's 23 for 125. Let's do this. A bit we can spend on it. It's a very important murder scheme. And perhaps this one here too, right? Then we would actually be at close to... Pretty much... Oh, how old is she anyway? 59. There's still no other heir to it, right? Nope. It's still the one that belongs to... Um, Frankia. Scheme discovered. Okay. Nice, thank you very much. Another scheme that failed. Um, oh, Beringer, if you were still with me, I know. Oh, no. My friend Beringer died. My bishop. It was not this bishop. Oh, yeah, I got a new one. And once again, a very bad one. No, this one is. Bloom in the Wilderness. For the third night in a row, I'm sitting at the same table at the same inn. It has an excellent view of the bar and the captivating barmaid behind it. My daydream is interrupted when Duke Engelschalk of Steiermark slams his tankard down on the table. I have seen you gawking at Amalberga. I think there was one with prestige. Um, I'm just here to have a drink. I want to do this myself. We gain some intrigue lifestyle and 95% chance I wrap her around my finger. Well, actually, let's make him help him because then we would be friends. This would cement our alliance even more. I've seen Amal Berger turn down more advances than I can count, but thanks to Duke Engelschalk's introduction and relaxed demeanor, she soon opens up. And now we have to decide, do we want to actually bat her or do we want to gain some attraction bonus there? Or yeah, become our lover. Let's do this. Let's make things a bit interesting there in my family. I mean, look at my wife. There's nothing going on really anymore between us. I think so. And in that case... Having a new friend is important as well. So he's my friend now. He's 46. So this will be a long-lasting friendship and alliance there. I hope so. 
And in that case, oh, my leech won another war. Making our domain a bit bigger there. Um, about the murder scheme. Of course, it failed. I did not expect anything else. But in that case, she's pretty old, so she might die soon anyway. And still, this guy here is still the heir to it, right? So he still becomes the king. Um, in that case, I think this is quite inevitable. Who's the next one in line then? Yeah, look at that. All the vassals are in the Empire of Frankia. So Bavaria will join Frankia now anyway, once she dies. In that case, we do have our spy master available again. So let's use him to find some secrets in Paris. And probably also gain a hook on my leech. And also a new control has been finished. So we could now go with another control. What is low? Ohm. No, Ulm has... Oh, Ulm has no control whatsoever. Right? We should do something about that. Let's have my marshal here. And increase control in Ulm. The more control, the more money flows in. Um, and also we gain 150 prestige thanks to my wife. Pretty good. Now, we do have a bit of money. I'm thinking about continuing building up my core domain, as I like to call it, which is Innsbruck now, all right? So Innsbruck, I'm aiming though for Munich because it's much more central to the whole thing once B Bavaria joins. Then we might go with that. Um, other than that, let's just continue building. So Innsbruck definitely will stay one of my core county counties, you know, so I will never give it away anymore. Um, in that case, we can continue expanding it um, and also, well, with money, which is my favorite thing. We could, for example, upgrade the mine once again. This doubles the income that the mine is producing then for us. And as we can see, we also got some other holdings, but they don't really belong to us, even though, oh, we could upgrade them as well. Meran, for example, Kufstein, which is a temple. So even here, we would have lots of upgrades. And yeah, let's really try and go for the highest upgrades there. Um, while performing his duties as my spy master, Count Dietwin has uncovered a secret held by Duchess Regenlit. She was the woman behind a failed murder attempt against Emma. Right, Emma is dead, and I don't even know Emma, so oh, no idea. My lord, it has come to my attention that there is a rare opportunity to invest in the county of Grisson. My wife, Margaret, draws up the details of the business investment. You don't even have that much stewardship. How do you come by that? It is a risk worth taking. 75% um, chance that we gain successful business endeavor. Um, or 25% chance that control growth factor is minus 50%. Um, yeah, let's take the risk. 75%. And it was actually successful. I did not expect this, but well, still fine. Um, in my work at the court, I found no secrets. Oh, no. We could get a strong hook on this court here, or there is no reason we should be friends instead. Let's do this. By the way, if you're asking myself, yes, I can actually um, fabricate claim or hooks as well. The problem is it failed against Emperor Alphonse, so no, well, big, oh, well, surprise here, right until 10.30. Oh, that's actually soon, the 28th of August, and then we can fabricate a hook again, or we can try this, because we need this hook if we want to wage war. And I do want to get Zurich there. Right, which is something that I've been waiting for quite some time. Um, there would be a hook available against this guest here. It's just a guest though. Let's go with... Uh, there is nothing that... I mean, Seducer is the next step here, right? In the trade tree. That gives me another three, pers uh, three intrigue. So in that case, um, schemes would be even more powerful than... This is the only real reason why I'm going down this street there. There's nothing else happening. We are 58, so I hope we're dying at some point so I can finally um, play as my, well, son here, Prince Simon. Um, as we can see, <laughs> Peter is then also a genius already. Um, he's been educated right now by a steward with a fortune, well, a thrifty clerk, that is, at least. Um, so we do have, I hope, a good family ahead of us. Right, I need to check that anyway. Prince Nikolaus here. He's a great eminence, but this guy here, Ulrich the Stazone, he still has his guardian, right? Yes. Yes, he's being by Prince him by the Prince Simon himself. That makes me wonder. We could also have him. Simon for him, but he's pretty much complete now, and he should be trained by a thrifty clerk there his life. So that hopefully goes to the right. Oh, Emperor Alphonse declared war on Queen Ulrike. Why? What's the reason for that? 
The claim on the kingdom of Bavaria. Wow, that is pretty big, so we could speed the whole thing up. I mean, she's going to die anyway. Why would you wage war on her now? Oh, I see. Because this Checo of Bavaria is now in Bavaria. Right, he joined Bavaria. He joined the kingdom of Bavaria. Alright, then of course it makes sense that we have the war on it. So my emperor waited on that as well, but it turned out not to be good. And in that case, we have the war against Bavaria now. It's a pretty big war. We might offer to join. And... Yeah, there it is already. Join the war against Bavaria. No, that's not my... Nope, that's not my leech. I'm not doing that. I could offer, most likely, to join the war, though. Offer to join war. We would become allies. Um, grows closer to forming a friendship with you. But he's 59. 55. So in that case... Mm. But we could still help him. If we help him... That's fine. If we lose, I don't think that there is much happening, right? French war for Count Gerardo's claim on the kingdom of Bavaria. Um, what happens if we lose? Nothing, I hope. So let's join the war. Let's actually help this speed it up. Perhaps um, we... Well, do have the Bavaria under our control at some point. This might be really nice. Um, we could claim a new one, but I don't want to. Um, and yeah, we are now also in the war. So let's have my rally point. Move it closer to my other... To my allies there. Let's raise my army. And let's just hope that we can do something here. Something good, right? I'm going to join them. I'm trying to join them. That is... I think it's a pretty big war. I mean, after all, it's against Bavaria itself, and then we would have a whole unification of Europe once again, and, well, I do have the option then to finally continue my expansion, that is, if I have a hook on the, the, the Emperor himself, and speaking of which, I can start, I should be able to start now. Fabricate the hook. You have the truth is relative. You have been discovered? What? I didn't do anything, right? Alright, perhaps after the war. Who knows? I hope so. Right, we're still here helping as well. I'm going to join the forces there directly. Empire Frank here. Where is Bavaria? There's Bavaria. Pretty big there too. My county or my realm stays safe at the moment. Oh, information brokering. I expect Emperor Alphonse would be keenly interested in the information I have acquired indicating Duchess Regan Lindt was behind a failed plot to murder Amber. Perhaps he would even be interested enough to offer me something substantial and insane. I will sell him the information with gold. We do have a 75% chance that we get a weak hook on... Oh no, this will. I will tell him only in exchange for favor. Right, then we would get a weak hook. Let's try this. Whether Emperor Alphonse believed me or not, when I told him I had information concerning his family, it's hard to say. Um, whatever the case, he refused to agree. Alright, so we don't have a hook on him. This is really, really difficult. Amal Burke has come to me and I immediately knew why she is with child. My lover, oh my goodness. I never thought it would come to this. Alright, we are only at plus 12% so far. Doesn't look very good. There hasn't been an open conflict yet. In my work... Um... No. Huh, pat patriarch, but it's 80 gold for something that I don't even want. There hasn't been a direct confrontation yet on anything. And I certainly don't want to start one. Oh no, Angloshalk, if you were still with me, I know you would tell me to be strong. No! My friend Angloshalk of Steiermark died. This, of course, is some stress for us, and we lost um, our alliance with Steiermark in that case. Very bad stuff. Um, also, it is very hard for us right now to really gain an alliance. We have an alliance with Orleans at the moment, which is really strong. So it's our only alliance that we have at the moment. Um, though it's in a very incredible, powerful alliance. There is a big war at the moment, a direct confrontation for the first time. Um, and in that case, as we can see, 
it has been won. So we are pretty good way here at the moment of winning Bavaria to our cause. Um, Duke Emmerich of Swabia, Vassal, he's good at intriguing. Yeah, you can continue finding secrets in Paris. I also have a very happy Vassal with that. Alright, there's a next battle and I'm going to also... Oh yeah. Half a warning, I've received a missive from Queen Aten of Novgorod. It claims... What? Rapacious villain. It claims that Bishop jo Johan, Johan, my vassal, has requested support in a plot against me. My own bishop? Hmm, there's nothing I value more. I will confront him. And we get a weak hook on him. Only a weak hook, though. An insulting accusation. When I present Queen Aten's letter to Prince Bishop de Johan, it is first met with confusion, then anger. Um, Alright, this is something, an intrigue, a diplomacy challenge actually, and we don't have enough diplomacy. Either we pay him right away, or we try it and spend some prestige. Otherwise, we gain 66% uh, chance that this is successful. Otherwise, realm loss 10% more expensive. No, then let's rather pay the money. It's really running good for us at the moment. I don't think that my help is actually needed. So I'm going to get my army back home again, lay them down or disband them because it's costing me quite some money there. And I think the war is won anyway. And there it is, the way my leech won the war, so be it. And thus, uh, Bavaria is in Francia as well. So we are all now beautifully united once again. The unification of Europe continues thus with Francia getting really big. And we now finally can, well, also expand into the east again. I can disband now my army, my soldiers once again. Really cool stuff. This was successful. Bavaria is now part of us. And we can now wage war against them. That is, of course, well... If we have a hook on him, so this will be another very important thing that we should be doing soon. Um, fabricating a hook, and actually I can do this now. 90% chance that this actually succeeds. We are starting to fabricate a hook on him, and then I can use this hook to finally expand further in my realm. Stay tuned.